rates are going up. Here's what you need to know. Interest rates are a crucial aspect of the economy, impacting everything from borrowing and lending to spending and investing. For many people, the question of whether interest rates are going up is top of mind. If you're wondering what to expect in the coming months and years, you've come to the right place. This article will provide you with a comprehensive overview of interest rates, including what they are, why they matter, and what factors influence them. We'll also examine historical trends, the current state of interest rates, and predictions for the future. What are interest rates and why do they matter? Interest rates are the cost of borrowing money, usually expressed as a percentage of the loan amount. They are set by central banks or other monetary authorities in an effort to manage inflation and support economic growth. The importance of interest rates lies in their impact on various aspects of the economy. When interest rates are low, it becomes cheaper for individuals and businesses to borrow money, which can stimulate spending and investment. However, low interest rates can also lead to inflation and asset bubbles. On the other hand, high interest rates can help control inflation, but may also lead to slower economic growth and reduced borrowing and spending. Overall, interest rates play a crucial role in the economy and fluctuations in rates can have widespread effects on individuals, businesses, and the broader financial system. Factors that influence interest rates. Interest rates don't exist in a vacuum. They are influenced by a variety of factors from economic indicators to government policies. Understanding these factors is key to understanding why interest rates change and what you can expect in the future. Inflation is one of the most significant factors that influence interest rates. When inflation is high, central banks such as the Federal Reserve may raise interest rates to control the amount of money in circulation. This can help prevent runaway inflation. Economic growth is another key influencer of interest rates. When the economy is growing rapidly, interest rates tend to rise. This is because demand for borrowing increases and lenders can charge higher interest rates. Government policies also play a role in shaping interest rates. For example, the Federal Reserve can adjust interest rates to try and stimulate or slow down the economy. Similarly, government spending and taxation policies can impact the overall health of the economy and therefore influence interest rates. The yield curve, another factor worth mentioning is the yield curve. The yield curve is a graph that shows the relationship between short-term and long-term interest rates. When short-term interest rates are higher than long-term rates, the yield curve is said to be inverted. This is often seen as a warning sign of an upcoming recession. Short-term rates, long-term rates, yield curve, low, low, flat, high, low, normal, low, high, normal, high, high, steep. The table above shows the different shapes the yield curve can take depending on the relationship between short-term and long-term interest rates. While many factors can influence interest rates, it's worth remembering that predicting exactly when interest rates will rise or fall is difficult. Even experts can get it wrong. However, by keeping an eye on key economic indicators and understanding the factors that influence interest rates, you can make more informed financial decisions. Historical trends in interest rates. Interest rates have been a topic of discussion for centuries, and they have undergone significant changes over time. In the 19th century, interest rates were relatively stable, with the Bank of England's rate remaining at four for almost 50 years. However, the 20th century saw significant fluctuations in interest rates, particularly in response to major global events. For example, during World War I, interest rates rose sharply to fund military operations peaking at over 6A. The Great Depression of the 1930s led to a period of low interest rates as the government sought to stimulate the economy. Following World War II, two interest rates remained low until the 1970s, when inflation began to rise rapidly. In response, central banks around the world raised interest rates to combat inflation, with rates peaking at over 20 in some countries. The impact of the 2008 financial crisis. The 2008 financial crisis had a significant impact on interest rates. In an effort to stimulate the economy, central banks around the world lowered interest rates to historic lows. In the United States, the Federal Reserve lowered rates to near zero levels and implemented other measures to encourage lending and spending. These low interest rates persisted for several years, leading to concerns about possible inflation and a potential bubble in asset prices. However, 
Inflation remained low and interest rates stayed at historically low levels until around 2015. In recent years, interest rates have gradually risen as the global economy has improved. However, they remain lower than historical averages and many central banks have indicated that they will continue to keep rates low for the foreseeable future. Year as federal funds rate, Bank of England base rate, European Central Bank refinancing rate, 2006, 0.56, 0.04, 0.75, 2005, 4.25, 4.52, 0.25, 2010, 0.25, 0 0.51.0, 2015, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0.5, 2020, 0 0.2000, 0 0.10, 0 0.0, sources. Federal Reserve, Bank of England, European Central Bank. As the table shows, interest rates in many developed countries have remained low in recent years. However, there are signs that they may begin to rise in the coming years, particularly if inflation picks up or if central banks believe that the global economy has sufficiently recovered. It is important for investors and borrowers to keep an eye on interest rates and understand how they may impact their finances. Historically, interest rates have been subject to significant fluctuations and it is important to be prepared for potential changes in the future. The current state of interest rates. So what's the current state of interest rates? Well, the answer is a bit complicated. Interest rates have been hovering at historically low levels in many countries around the world since the 2008 financial crisis. However, there have been some recent indications that rates may be on the rise. In the United States, the Federal Reserve has indicated that it may start raising interest rates in the near future. This would be a significant change from the past several years, during which the Fed has kept rates near zero in an effort to stimulate the economy. In other countries, such as Japan and Europe, interest rates are still at or near zero. So what does this mean for borrowers, savers, and investors? It depends on a number of factors, including the specific country and economic conditions involved. In general, rising interest rates can mean higher borrowing costs for individuals and businesses, but they can also lead to higher returns on savings and investments. It's important to keep an eye on interest rate trends and be prepared for any changes that may be coming. This can mean adjusting your financial plans and strategies to account for potentially higher borrowing costs or taking advantage of higher returns on savings and investments. Pros and cons of rising interest rates. Rising interest rates can have both positive and negative effects on the economy, depending on the context. In this section, we'll explore some of the potential benefits and drawbacks of higher interest rates. Pros of rising interest rates. Control inflation. Higher interest rates can help control inflation by making borrowing more expensive and thereby slowing down spending. This can prevent prices from rising too quickly and keep the economy stable in the long run. Higher savings rates. Rising interest rates can lead to higher savings rates as people are incentivized to save more due to higher returns. This can encourage better financial planning and help people achieve their long-term financial goals more easily. Encourages investment. Higher interest rates can also encourage investment as higher returns on investment can make it more attractive for people to invest in new ventures and help drive economic growth in the long run. Of rising interest rates increases cost of borrowing. One of the biggest drawbacks of rising interest rates is that they can make borrowing more expensive, including mortgages, car loans, and credit card debt. This can put a strain on people's finances and make it harder to make ends meet. Slows down economic growth. Rising interest rates can also slow down economic growth by reducing consumer spending. This can cause businesses to suffer and lead to job losses in the short term, reduces asset values. Rising interest rates can have a negative effect on asset values, including homes, stocks, and bonds. This can hurt people's net worth and lead to financial instability in the short term. Rising interest rates can have both positive and negative effects on the economy, depending on the context. Overall, the impact of rising interest rates can be complex and multifaceted, while there are certainly benefits to higher interest rates in some cases, it's important to be aware of the potential drawbacks as well. In the next section, we'll explore some practical steps you can take to prepare for rising interest rates and protect your finances. How to prepare for rising interest rates. With interest rates on the rise, it's important to be proactive in managing your finances. 
Here are some steps you can take to prepare. Pay down debt. High interest rates can make it more difficult to pay off debt. Consider paying down as much debt as possible before interest rates rise further. Build an emergency fund. Having a cushion of savings can help you weather financial storms, including rising interest rates. Aim to save three to six months worth of expenses. Consider refinancing. If you have a mortgage or other long-term debt, you may be able to refinance at a lower rate before interest rates rise further. Talk to a financial advisor to see if this is a good option for you. Invest in fixed income assets. Fixed income assets such as bonds can provide a stable source of income even in a rising interest rate environment. Reduce spending. With higher interest rates, borrowing becomes more expensive. One way to offset this cost is to reduce unnecessary spending and save more to compensate for higher interest rates. By taking these steps, you can position yourself to better manage your finances in a higher interest rate environment. Remember, the key is to be proactive and stay on top of your finances, predictions and forecasts for interest rates. Trying to predict the future of interest rates is a challenging task, but experts have offered a range of forecasts and predictions for what we can expect in the coming months and years. According to the Wall Street Journal, many economists predict that interest rates will continue to rise gradually over the next few years. This is based on expectations for continued economic growth and low unemployment rates. However, there are also some voices that suggest interest rates may stay relatively stable or even decline in the near future. For example, the Federal Reserve has indicated that it may slow down its pace of rate hikes in response to concerns about global growth and market volatility. It is worth noting that even the experts can be wrong when it comes to predicting interest rates. Unforeseen events such as major political upheavals or natural disasters can quickly change the trajectory of interest rates, factors that could impact future interest rates. There are several factors that could impact future interest rates, including factor possible impact on interest rates. Inflation rising inflation could lead to higher interest rates as policymakers seek to rein in prices. Economic growth, strong economic growth could drive up demand for credit, leading to higher interest rates. Government policies, changes in government policies such as tax reform or monetary stimulus could impact interest rates. Global economic conditions, international events such as trade conflicts or currency fluctuations could impact interest rates. While it is impossible to predict exactly how these factors will play out, it is important for individuals and businesses to stay informed about developments that could impact interest rates. Fuck. Your burning questions about interest rates answered. Here are some answers to the most common questions about interest rates. What are the current interest rates? The current interest rates vary depending on the type of loan or investment. You can check with your bank or financial institution to see what rates they are offering. The Federal Reserve also publishes current interest rates on their website. Why do interest rates go up and down? Interest rates are influenced by a variety of factors, including inflation, economic growth, and government policies. When the economy is doing well and there is low unemployment, interest rates tend to go up. When the economy is struggling, interest rates tend to go down to encourage borrowing and spending. How do rising interest rates affect me? Rising interest rates can impact your finances in a number of ways. If you have debt, your monthly payments may increase. However, rising interest rates can also lead to higher returns on savings and investments. Should I be worried about rising interest rates? It depends on your individual financial situation. If you have a lot of debt with variable interest rates, rising interest rates could be a cause for concern. However, if you have savings or fixed rate investments, rising interest rates could be a good thing. It's important to review your finances and make any necessary adjustments to prepare for rising interest rates. What can I do to prepare for rising interest rates? So there are several steps you can take to prepare for rising interest rates. You can pay down debt, especially any variable rate debt that will be impacted by rising interest rates. You can also look for ways to save money and invest in products that offer fixed interest rates. It's also important to review your budget and make any necessary adjustments to accommodate higher interest rates. When will interest rates go up again? The timing of interest rate increases is difficult to predict and is influenced by a variety of factors. It's a good idea to stay informed about economic trends and government policies that could impact interest rates. 
You can also consult with a financial advisor to get a better idea of what to expect.